Hi everybody, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts and it's been a minute or two since we sat down and had a little chit chat about what I've been working on. So today is the day, September 1st. Um, let's just start um, by saying a big thank you. Uh, my channel has reached over 5,000 subscribers so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, for stopping in and visiting with me from time to time. Um, hello to any new subscribers. Welcome back to any old subscribers. Uh, come on in, sit down, grab yourself a drink, and let's just chit chat about all the yarny goodness that we have going on right now. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what I'm wearing. Okay guys, so many of you, if you watch me, you know that I started knitting um, probably late February, early March, like right when um, all the pandemic stuff was starting. Um, and I have knit myself my very first sweater. Okay, so I'm gonna get up close and personal with you here. So you can kind of see the detail in the sweater. This is the Anchors Summer Shirt. I'm looking for my ball of yarn that I brought over here. The Anchors Summer Shirt by Petite Knits. And I knit it with this ball of yarn right here. I actually used four balls. This is one of my Knit Crate. Um, this is one of my Knit Crate yarns and I ordered two more so it took four really three and a half skeins total the colorway is haze if you guys can see that now a lot of firsts for me here okay first of all this is a chain spun yarn I have never ever crocheted or knitted or done anything with chain spun yarn it's also a linen yarn which I I've never really done anything with linen either. I don't know if you can see, but there's like little fuzzy things on this yarn and they're kind of hard and twiggy. <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it. Um, but when I blocked it, it softened up a lot, okay? It's pretty soft yarn anyways, but again, there's those little twiggy things in there, which is kind of weird, right? So when I, blocked it. I really just ran it through uh, on Delicate Cycle because the yarn says you can wash but lay flat to dry. So I ran it through on the Delicate Cycle and uh, spun dry it and then I laid it out flat to finish drying. So a lot of firsts for me here. A finished sweater from your girl. Yes. Um, I'm so proud of myself. So I learned some things, right? Um, if you can look here on the sleeves, they kind of, I did not go down a size when I did the ribbing on my sleeves because I didn't want it to be tight. Um, I'm a bigger girl. I don't have really skinny arms, so I don't want to accent that, so to speak. So I did not go down a size. Now, you can see it kind of puffs up there. I wish I would have went down a size. That's what I'm trying to say here. So a lot of learning in this but I am so proud of it I am gonna wear it with pride um, I just finished it maybe about a week ago I got it blocked um, and I put some pictures on my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram jump on over there I am hooked dot on dot crafts on Instagram and I post I don't really post a ton on Instagram, but if I have projects in the works and I'm having fun, a lot of times I will post stuff there. Um, you'll also see I do some paper crafting and I used to post a ton of paper craft stuff on there. And if I get back to paper crafting, I will probably still post um, some of those things on there. So that is my number one finished uh, uh, object. So it's the Anchors Summer Shirt by Petite Knits. It is a paid for pattern, um, but I love, it worked up really easy. I didn't have any problems um, with the sleeves or with the increases or any of that. Now, I typically wear a 2X in all of uh, my clothes, in my shirts, and my tops. Um, now, I did knit the 3X size on this because when I was looking at the pictures, um, a lot of them looked form fitting and I'm a bigger girl. I didn't want it to hug every curve, okay? So I did make it a little bit bigger than what the measurement said because I wanted more positive ease. And that's okay. I think that's the way 
we're supposed to do it. Okay, so the next thing, I'm looking down here for my stuff, I'm sorry. The next thing I made is I jumped on to the pocket shawl bandwagon. Ooh, I got a leaf in it. Um, the pocket shawl bandwagon, okay? And it is a big guy. Now, this pattern, I did not have a pattern. Um, I don't have a ton of money, extra money right now to be spending on patterns. So I just, I don't have a, I don't have a pattern for this, but it's loosely based on the one that Sonia Hood did. Um, I just kind of looked at it. Um, I've crocheted a long time, so um, I can kind of throw things together like this. I'm going to insert some pictures right here. Of me wearing it. Um, these are pictures that I took just the other day and I love it. I didn't think I was going to like it. Um, I'm not a huge saw wearer. Um, I think they're kind of, I don't know. I think they kind of age <laughs> sometimes. So I'm at that age where I don't want to be a grandma quite yet. And I'm not. And I hopefully won't be for a while. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I did put the fringe on the bottom. I made this out of Lion Brand's Ombre Yarn. And let me look here. I have the label stuck around here somewhere. I'm going to stick this back in my bag here. I apologize if you can hear the tornado sirens going off. I promise there's not a tornado, but it is the first Tuesday of the month, and they are testing them. This is in the Pattern Way Harmony. It's the Lion Brand Mandala Ombre. And there you can see maybe that part of it. But yeah, it's the denim one. And if you guys see a theme here, I like the blues. Um, I, I always gravitate towards the cooler colors, the blues, the purples. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just like them. So that was finished optic number two. This one, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to move some of this stuff out of my way. This is something that has been done for a while. I made this for my daughter. And you can see if you look right close up here, it's not 100% great right there in the middle. I didn't know how to fix that. Um, I'm new to knitting and I don't know how to fix things in knitting. So I'm learning though, I'm learning. So this is like, this is called, let me see here. This is called the Girly Brawl Top. It's a free pattern by Lauren Riker. Um, and I knit it out of the Karen Simply Soft, okay? So we have two knitted, two knitted garments really, and one crocheted pocket shawl. So, Knitting for me is really hard, okay? I have to think about it. Um, when I'm stressed or when I want downtime, I, I always fall back to my crochet because it I don't have to think about it near as much. I just can do it. So, I don't know. So, you'll see a little bit of mix. But I love, love, love learning new things. That's what I've learned about myself. Is as a crafter, I enjoy just making things. I'm a maker. I'm a maker. That's all I can say. Okay, on to my next finished object. Okay, so I, I crocheted. This is a baby blanket, and you can see it's pretty big. It's pretty good size. This is also the new colorway Happy in the um, Lion Brand Mandala line. And I got this at Walmart and I love this color. It truly just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. So, it's soft, it's squishy. It is, I don't know if you can tell here, it's like a puff stitch. This, it's a bag of day crochet pattern, um, 664. Hers is in all different colors of greens, which is equally beautiful, but I wanted something fun. Um, and I think I'm going to have to make another one of those bigger. My daughter looked at that and she's like, can I have that blanket? I'm like, it's a baby blanket. She's like, I don't care. So I think I'm going to make her a big, big one. Okay, next finished object. 
Let's see. Also, Hat Not Hate, guys. Today is September 1st. It is the deadline for Hat Not Hate. If you have not mailed your hats yet, there is still a little bit of time. She's not going to take her final count till September 10th. So plenty, plenty, plenty of time to get them in and get your hat counted. I ended up, and I don't have these because I've already mailed mine, but I ended up with about 21, 22 hats, somewhere in there. And honestly, I was knitting them because knitting is new to me, and it was a great way to practice different stitches and and just learn some new techniques, right? Um, practice makes perfect. And I think with any new craft, you just have to keep doing it in order to get good at it. Um, so yeah, so I made lots of hats, but then I get down to kind of the nitty gritty. I was running out of time. So then I went to crocheting my hats and I made probably about six granny square hats um, to finish those out. And those went really fast. They didn't take up a ton of yarn. And so yeah, so I got my hats for Hat Not Hate sent off in the mail. Let's see. Oh, another finish object here. Okay, so you know I always like to crochet for a cause, and Hat Not Hate was my cause, and so it is over now. So I have decided to learn to knit knitted knockers. Okay, these are for women with breast cancer who have had to have um, their breasts removed. So, Great cause. Lots of new techniques here for me, right? These are knit on DPNs. I don't really do DPNs, but I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, there's a few little spots and you leave them open on the back so that they can um, stuff more or less. And I'm really, I just stuffed them for, for photo purposes because uh, when I ship these to them, I'll ship them unstuffed and let them stuff them. Um, but I just wanted to see how it was going to look. Now you can see I got a few ladders here on the back. It's the back. It goes in your bra. I don't think anybody's going to care about that little ladder. Um, I kind of ask on Facebook because I joined the Knitted Knocker Facebook group and I ask them, hey, do you think, is this good enough to donate or should I just keep practicing? And and they said that they thought it was good enough to donate. And many ladies on there who have breast cancer, who have used it in a knockers, they said they would be happy to have one um, that looked like this. So, yeah. So I've been doing this. Now I do have, I did do two. Okay, so this is what it looks like kind of before you, um, before you stuff them, sorry. Before you stuff them, they kind of look like this. And you leave them open in the back so that you can get your stuffing in there. But this one is the other one that matches the stuffed one. And these are a C size. And they, I, I think they're a C size. They say they size them once they get them. Um, so. And then I also made, this is a smaller one and it is an A size. Now, they, there are special yarns. They only take certain yarns. So... If you are a knitter and want to help them out, make sure you get the special yarn. And they want you to send the band of your yarn with them when you mail them out. Which I thought, oh here it is. I thought I stuck it in this bag. Okay, so one of their preferred yarns is Lion Brand's Kobu yarn. And you can see right there on it, it says approved by knit and knockers okay so i wanted to get started because i'm just like that i'm impatient if i find something i want to do i'm going to just go do it instead of procrastinate or think about it for weeks so why not just jump right in and, and try it right it can't hurt to try it i'm only out i think the yarn cost me five dollars of course i didn't buy just one because i knew i would keep trying until i actually got the hang of it so this is the color mauve, the one you're seeing. And I made smaller ones because I didn't want to run out of yarn. Um, here's my DPNs that I've been using. Now, these are 5-inch DPNs. These are just really cheap DPNs, and we'll talk a little bit more about them in acquisitions. Um, where you get, like, every size for, like, $7. I kind of like them. They're not bad at all. Um, I just, when you get to the size C and D knockers you're going to need a longer DPN because the stitches will fall off. And that is frustrating for me. So 
um, as we talk about other acquisitions and stuff, I will get into um, that a little bit too because I did buy a couple other things to help with that. So I'm going to set that aside. Um, I have one more fin finished object here. And I have not blocked this. I have not even woven in my ends. It's kind of a capelet. And if a lot of you guys remember, it was... Um, I bought this yarn for a crocheted sweater. And I got it all... Um, here, I'm going to try to stick it on and see, see how it does. It's a crocheted capelet. Or actually, this is knit, sorry. Um, but I bought the yarn for a crocheted sweater. And I did not like how the sweater was turning out. So, I frogged it. I mean, I didn't like it. I wasn't going to wear it. Why Why not? Uh, and you can see, I'm going to kind of try to scoot down. It falls just a little bit below the bust line. I kind of wish I would have made it way longer. To me, it would have been, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of like it if I was in an office setting or something. Um, I could see me wearing this if I got cold on a winter's day or something. So that I forget what pattern this was. It was a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, so yeah, just check it out there, you'll find. There's lots of capelets, sorry. If I find it, I will link it in the notes below. Okay, let's move on to whips. Whips, what am I working on? So, as many of you know, I started the flax. This is actually the first garment that I have tried. And it is the flax by Tin Can Knits. And I have got everything except for the sleeves done. I also posted a picture of this on my Instagram and um, yeah I think it's turning out really good I'm happy with it um, it just was so hot and it got really hot here and so I kind of gave it a rest and went on to the one I'm wearing to the anchors uh, summer shirt one because the yarn came in my knit crate and it was linen and I wanted to try it and it wasn't so heavy so I just I don't know, I set it aside and we will finish the sleeve soon because I want to be able to wear it this uh, winter. So this is also a whip. I guess you could call it a hoe. Um, I am giving socks another try. So I don't have a sock blocker, so just cardboard, sorry. Um, I This is just a plain vanilla sock. I wanted to do a shorty sock. I bought the yarn at Joanne, or not at Joanne's, at Michael's when it was on clearance for like $1.97 a ball. And so I knew I wanted to try socks. So I thought, hmm, yarn's cheap enough. I'm going to give it a whirl, right? So I am very happy with how these are turning on. This is a Fish Lips Kiss Hill. First time doing the Fish Lips Kiss Hill. It's a hot mess on the back, guys. Um, I went through and stitched through it because there were some holes and stuff there. I don't care. They're for me. I'm going to wear them. I don't, I don't care if it's a little bit of a hot mess, okay? Um, I will try better on the next one, okay? But I tried this one on. It fits very good. If you remember, this was my first pair of socks. And they're huge on me, okay? So, I watched a lot of videos. And a lot of people, they use size 1 needles, um, 64 stitch cast on, which is how I did these. Okay? What I'm finding out about socks is you just have to figure out which heel fits for you and what size fits you the best. It's kind of like a recipe. Um, so, I am a size 7 shoe, and I think I need... The 56 stitch count cast on because these are not big at all these I'm still gonna wear they're still in my drawer um, I wear them around the house after I get out of the bathtub when I get up and my feet are cold um, and I and I love them they're my first pair right so what I found when I'm doing this is I'm not a fan of this yarn um, it splits it's I like the stripy yarn, honestly. I like the self-striping yarn. I think it keeps me motivated. Um, 
that being said so i have a hoe okay but this is my sock bag that i made and let's see if i can find it in here i did get and i'm using nine inch circulars oh and i lost a few stitches and i'm not very good at fixing things when i knit them so much easier when you're crocheting to fix things um but i'm using the nine inch circulars which i do like i like knitting in the round i think it's fast i think it's easy i get it i grasp it um but this is where i'm at sorry this is where i'm at on my second sock now this is where i divided for my heel i have decided you see my little dpns that i was using and they're they're like these okay they come in lots of little packages um and i am going to run to joanne's today and get some clover bamboo ones um I just feel like they're flimsy and I'm afraid I'm going to break them um, because I'm trying to get in there so tight. Okay, so that is my second pair of socks and they're shorty socks and I did buy some more yarn. I don't think I brought it over here with me, but I do have some more yarn that I bought um, at Joann's. Like if they're having a 40% off coupon and sometimes I just want to, I just buy one. Okay. Um, and I use my coupon and then the next time they have a 40% off coupon, I go in and I buy the other one. So I did put another hat and this is a CC beanie onto the needles. Um, it's blue. It's going to be a hat, not hate hat. I'm probably going to frog it. I'm not filling it. I'm using, um, I'm using Michael's impeccable I'm sorry, it's blowing it out. Impeccable yarn. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. So I'm probably going to take it out and try again a different day when, I don't know, maybe I have more patience. <laughs> maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, so that is what, let's see here. That is the only things that I'm working on. That's all I have on my needles right now. I want to finish my socks. I want to finish my sweater. I told myself that I couldn't cast anything new on until I finished some projects because I had this sweater, I had my shawl going, I had the flax going, I had all my hats. Um, I was working through those, trying to get all those done in time and get them shipped out so that she, uh, she would have them uh, for Hat Not Hate. So yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Now, later I am going to show you, I do have a few more things um, that I've planned for that I want to make. So let's talk about acquisitions. All right, guys, let's talk acquisitions. So I had a birthday, July 1st. I bought this. Um, it's, um, a case I bought, um, I'll show you what I've got in it. So it's a case that has lots of little pockets and I bought it for all my circular needles, but then I bought all of these, um, DPNs that came and these are the ones I got off Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're like six or seven dollars. They're not high quality, but they get the trick done, right? Um, what I'm finding with DPNs is since I'm a new knitter, everything wants to slip off and I don't like that. Um, so the bamboo needles are doing me better than the metal one that I bought at Joann's before. So for my birthday though, I got this little set. I'm sorry for the glare. There you can kind of see it. But these are the Knit Pick Shorties. And they come with a couple cords in the back. And this is how I did my sleeves. Um, I bought them basically to do the sleeves because I don't like deep ends. Um, so yeah. I also ordered off of eBay this set right here and this is the Knit Picks 8 inch DPNs. These are for my knitted knockers. So if I'm going to be making a bunch of these I wanted to have a nice set that had a good point on them and the wooden ones while they're okay they're definitely worth six dollars um they're not they're not as pointy and this is a this is one's um I just think I'm gonna like these. I, I'm really enjoying the bamboo needles. 
I also ordered, and I don't have these in their little case, but I'll show them to you anyways. This is a little try me set of the knit picks, which I enjoy. Um, as a new knitter, I before I invest a bunch of money in some needles, I really like to try them out. So these, you can't really tell, but this is the square needles. This is what I knit my sweater that I'm wearing with. Um, and I enjoyed it. They have a good enough point uh, to get what you need done. And they're also very smooth. So I really, I really enjoyed these square needles. And it also came with these. And these are the metal ones. And I started something with this and I took them out. I was losing my stitches again, especially in new patterns or patterns. Maybe as I get more experience, I will like the metal needles. Now, my little nine inch circulars are chow goods and they're definitely metal and I love those. So I don't know, it's, it's use what you like, right? Um, that is just what, one of the things that I had gotten. I'm gonna set these down here. This is the other, this is how they came. And these are the longer nine inch DPNs. And again, they serve their purpose. They come, they have every size in here. I had to invest $7. Um, and if something comes up and I need a DPN, these will definitely work in a pinch. I'm not mad at those. I'm not mad at those at all. Um, I think they're well worth the money. Um, some people will say they're cheap. Um, I did find one. It was rough. Um, it was snagging my yarn. I just took a little bit of very fine sandpaper and sanded it down. Works like a charm. I'm not mad at those at all. I also bought some of these. Now, I have not used this set. I bought like four different sets of these in different sizes. Two of them were 16 inch. One is a 60 inch. And I believe these are like the 32 inch or maybe 40 inch even. Let me get one of them out here and we'll look at it. Now, I bought these off the AliExpress. And I will tell you, they are not the most pointed needle out there. But for someone who's just starting out, and different patterns call for a lot of different size needles. Now, I did invest in a pair of interchangeables, which I love. But I, I'm not mad at these either. Because look, guys, the cord on them is I actually like this cord better than the Knit Picks one because it's it kind of reminds me of the one on the Chowgy needles. Now these needles are bent. Um, I think it's more ergonomical or I don't know how you say that. But also the point, let's see here, the point on them is pretty sharp. And I, I enjoy these. Um, I don't know. I, I'm saying if you're a new knitter and you don't have a ton of money to invest. You're not sure you're going to like knitting. Um, you know, buy what you can afford. And then you can always upgrade your sets later. I mean, no one says you have to go out and buy the $100 Chow Goose right out of the starting gate. Now, would I love to have a pair of those? Yeah, I would love to have a pair of those. But I don't. Um, so the Knit Picks ones are working well for me. <clears throat> and also, um, the ones I bought off of AliExpress, I'm, I mean, I don't, uh, there's no shame in that. It is what it is, right? I'm not a yarn snob, and I'm not a needle snob, so I'm just going to use what I have, and it's working for me very well right now. So, those are two of my, three of my acquisitions. Let's talk about a little bit of yarn. So I talked about the knitted knockers. This is another Kobu. Um, this is a pale pink. Um, they only had they only had the pink the first time I went, and then the other time I went, I actually found the tan. I think most people want neutral colors for these, um, so that's that's really what I was trying to do. I want people to feel comfortable with the colors that I pick. Um, it's something that they're gonna probably use every day. Um, so yeah, I want them to be comfortable. I want them to enjoy the colors I picked. Now, I also ordered these from Jimmy Bean Wool. And this is another one of the approved, and this one's coming out 
this is really a tan. It's it's coming out. It's it's kind of a grayish tan, I guess. Um, but these are more that I ordered for the knit and knockers. Now this brand, and this is an approved brand, is the Cascade Ulta Pima Fine Cotton. It is very soft. Now the reason they have certain ones because you are going to wear these up against your skin it's going to be sensitive um, if you've had any kind of surgery there you don't want it to irritate you want it to be very soft you want it to be washable um, so that's what I got for those so I am so set on making my knitted knockers and I am working on those I try to like if I don't have anything to work on and I'm just got some downtime and I'm watching TV I like to have something to pick up so that's that. Let's see here. Um, let's talk about Knit Crate for a minute. So since the last time we've talked, I've probably gotten three Knit Crates. Um, the first one was this one that I made my sweater out of. The second one is this one. Wow, that's nice, right? And I actually haven't had this one. This is the, I think they call it Uru yarn. I called it URU yarn before. Um, Stitch and Hustle. It's a 100% organic Pima cotton, DK weight, 266 yards, colorway Stardust. So yeah, I got two, two of those. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this, but it's beautiful, right? Purple is my color, so yeah, I love that. Um, with the knit crate, you also, I'm sure you guys have seen all the unboxings, because I'm really late on this, but it came with a Tunisian, Tunisian crochet hook. I have done a little bit of Tunisian crochet. It's been a long, long time, but hey, I love having the tool. I will pick it up. If I, if I ever want to do something else in that, I will pick it up. So let's go on to the one. Now, I just received this one yesterday, and so the last day of August, and this is August's crate. Now, I will tell you, I love my knit crate, and I understand that we're in a pandemic, and I understand that it's slowing things down, but they are taking my money on the very first, like today, my money will come out for September, and I did not receive my crate till the very last day of August, so I don't know, that, that kind of wears on me a little bit. Um, but this is the color, and I thought I had switched this color, honestly. Um, this is kind of a... I don't know it's a greeny blue it's called oasis now this is also this is the name brand on it this is a 50% superwash merino 30% linen and 20% silk fingering weight 400 yards and I have two of these I thought I had switched it to the red but I must have not it got it done right but this is pretty it's not as soft as I thought it was gonna feel because of the silk I thought it would be a lot softer but I think it's that linen in there again it's that little twiggy stuff and I think when you wash it it's gonna continue to get softer and softer correct me if I'm wrong um, anybody who's used this type of yarn before but yeah I I love my knit crate yarns I look forward to getting them we don't have a local yarn store where I live I don't get to see fancy yarns um, my fancy yarns come from <laughs> Michael's and uh, Hobby Lobby and Joann's. I do have all of those really close to me, so I guess I'm fortunate in that aspect. But I do not have a local yarn shop. And I wish I did, honestly. Um, probably spend way too much money anyways. But I'm enjoying my knit crate. Um, I will continue to get my knit crate. I think this month... Um, I really like the socks in the sock crate, the sock yarns. Um, so I may buy those in the double down afterwards. Um, I talked about, I talked about, oh no, I got my yarn stuck in my zipper. I talked about, I had some other sock yarns that I had purchased. I got these at Joann's. And this, let's see here if I can get it. This is the Lion Brand Manny Petty. This is the first colorway, and it's called Boots. I got two of these because I may make longer ones. Although I'm loving the short ones, they go super fast. They may all be shorty socks. And this is the second colorway, and it's called Mittens. 
and it's got my blues and stuff in it. Ugh, I don't know which one I'm going to try next. I think it's, I don't know. I don't, I haven't decided yet. But one of these will become my next pair of socks. And there will be a next pair of socks because I'm, I'm digging the socks. I like it. Um, I can't believe I got my yarn stuck in my zipper. I'll cut it out later. Okay, so that is, I believe, all of my acquisitions. Plus, I did do a Hobby Lobby haul of yarn. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. So, I got some yarn there too. So, ugh, I splurged a little bit there. But, it was super cheap. I will find a home for all of it. So, yeah. So let's talk about things I want to make and what else is going on. <clears throat> so, I did buy, and I bought this a while back when it was on sale at um, my Joann's. I bought the Pound of Love in this deep, dark burgundy, okay? So I have that. So I'm going to set this down. And then I bought these three colors. Let's see if I can hold them all. <laughs> these three colors to go with it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, those three colors to go with it. And what I have in mind, this is a sweater's quantity, of course. And let's see, I'm gonna try to pull it up here. Sorry, I turned my brightness down because I wanted you to be able to see it. And now, I can't even see it. Okay, I'm gonna put you on pause here. Okay, I think I got it. So, I want to try to make this sweater. Sorry, it's blowing. Not really bad. Well, it's called the Mountain Mist Sweater. And it's by Tin Can Knits. And that is the one that I want to try to make. Another thing on my wish list is this. This is Stephen West Painted Bricks Shawl. And I bought some yarn at Hobby Lobby in the gradients, um, in grays and brown. And I kind of want to do it in the gray and either have a purple border or a black border um, all around it. And just have the different shades of gray going down, which is not near as exciting as this colorful one. But in my opinion, it's much more wearable for me anyways, if I do it that way. So that's another one. And then I found this. And this is called the Midnight in... Berlin and it is a beautiful shawl. I really like the mosaic color work and I want to learn how to do that. I don't have any yarn for that so I'm going to keep my eyes open. Um, it takes two skeins of each color, a light and a dark. So that is all my wish list of things to make. Now all those are paid patterns. They all run about $7. So I don't know. I will try one at a time maybe and start them. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you updated. So I want to talk a little bit about who I've been watching and um, I'm joining in some cows and some make-alongs um, just to have a little bit of fun because I'm getting bored staying at home <laughs> honestly. So just just have a little bit of fun. The first one and I'm entering my sweater in this even though it's a summer sweater it's I mean, where I'm at, it's going to stay warm for a little bit. So it's called the far, Fall Garment Make-Along. And you could do whips, um, which this is, this was a whip when she opened it. And my flax I may enter too if I get it finished. I entered it in the chatter uh, thread. Uh, but it's Nitty Natty. I like to listen to her. Um, she's a crocheter and a knitter. Um, so yeah, I like to watch her. I've been kind of binge watching different people, but that's the first make along that I'm 
getting involved in. The second one is Cozy Up Knits and their hashtag is something with sleeves. And so again, I'm I'm entering this because definitely have sleeves. Um, so I'm getting involved in that one. I think it goes through the end of September. So you still got plenty of time. Um, if you're a very quick knitter or crocheter, um, I don't know. I don't like crocheted garments as much. That's why I wanted to learn to knit. So that's just me. And then the last one that I'm entering that I am, I'm trying, I'm going to use my socks for this. I think it's a one and done is the hashtag and it's being put on by several different podcasters. Uh, the ones I watch are needles at the ready. I love watching those guys. They're one of my favorite new podcasters. Um, out there and um, I feel like Ray is a new knitter and we're kind of going along our journey together he is much better at socks though than than I am but he's also knitting a flax he's not quite got his body done or his sleeves so he's kind of right there with me um, as far as that goes he can also crochet so I feel like uh, we have a lot in common so those are a couple of the new uh, podcasters that I've been listening to. I really don't have a lot of else to talk about with you guys. Um, I have reached my 5,000 subscribers. I am going to have a giveaway. I haven't decided yet what I want to do for my giveaway. So here's what I want to know from you guys. Please leave me a comment down below. Would you enjoy yarn as a prize? Would you enjoy maybe like a little try me pack of the nitpicks needles as a prize? Would you enjoy just an Amazon gift card as a prize and you could pick out whatever you wanted or maybe you're saving for your splurge chow goo needles and maybe that could go towards, towards that. I don't know. Um, I don't know what you guys would enjoy and I want it to be a prize that you guys would enjoy. It probably is going to have to be in the U.S. only because I don't have a ton of money to ship anything. Now, if we decide on a gift card, I could do that for anybody um, because I'm pretty sure I can send a virtual gift card uh, on Amazon. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you want for your giveaway? What kind of prize would you want? Um please give me a thumbs up. It helps people, more people see my videos. I haven't had great reception on my chit chat videos. Um, a few people watch them here and there, but as a whole, my tutorial videos get a lot more views. And maybe it's because I don't ramble as much in those and they're short and sweet. But I like to come on and talk to you guys about Armel Yarn Goodness. So I'm probably gonna continue to do those even though they don't get as much uh, views. I'm an amateur at this, guys. My setup is in my living room. I have some people comment about, I don't know, the lighting or the sound or this or that. And I apologize if I'm not speaking loud enough. I try uh, to be close enough to my phone. I do this on my phone. I do not have a camera um, that I can video on. So I am using what I have. And it's just for fun. It's not my job. So if you enjoy it, great. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'm just not your cup of tea. Move on to somebody else who is your cup of tea. Um, I don't like nasty comments. They, they don't, they don't do it for me. <laughs> to be quite honest, I don't know very many people who like nasty comments. Um, a lot of times I'll delete them. Sometimes I won't. Um, it is what it is. I can't be everybody's cup of tea. I don't want to be everybody's cup of tea. Um, I just want my close yarny friends in with me and I want to share some things with you guys. So give me a thumbs up so that they share my videos and please like and subscribe. Um, if you haven't, if you stuck with me this long, thank you for hanging in there. Let me know what you guys would like as a prize um, because that is definitely coming up. Um, I look forward to being able to do that. And until next time, guys, happy crafting.